Hello everyone. Here we have got an exponential equation to solve. This exponential equation contains terms in the form of compound thirds. So let us see that how do we solve this equation. To solve this equation, first thing we notice that both the terms on the left hand side in the form of compound thirds are conjugate of each other. So when they are multiplied with each other, they will become rational terms. We multiply whole of the equation by 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x that is the second term on the left hand side to get another equivalent equation in the form of 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x into whole of the left hand side terms being equal to 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x into 12. In this equation the multiplication results as 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x into 6 plus root 35 raised to the power x plus 6 minus root 35 raised to the power 2x becoming equal to the right hand side and since in the first term on the left hand side both the powers are equal the bases can be multiplied together so the equation becomes 6 minus root 35 into 6 plus root 35 whole raised to the power x and rest of the terms this equation after the multiplication in the first term becomes 6 square minus 35 raised to the power x plus 6 minus root 35 raised to the power 2x is equal to 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x into 12. In this equation, in the first term, 6 square becomes 36 and the equation becomes 36 minus 35 raised to the power x plus rest of the term, 36 minus 35 is 1. So the equation becomes 1 plus 6 minus root 35 raised to the power 2x is equal to 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x into 12. We bring all the terms in the left hand side to get the equation in the form of 6 minus root 35 raised to the power 2x minus 12 into 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x plus 1 is equal to 0. When this equation is compared with the standard quadratic equation az square plus bz plus c is equal to 0 which has a solution with the quadratic formula as z is equal to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. We find that z is represented here as equal to 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x and a, b, c are 1 minus 12 and 1 respectively. So the solution in the form of 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x becomes equal to minus minus 12 plus minus under root minus 12 square minus 4 into 1 into 1 all divided by 2 into 1. This when simplified gives the value of 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x is equal to 12 plus minus under root 144 minus 4 by 2 which becomes equal to 12 plus minus root 140 by 2 and this further becomes equal to 12 plus minus 2 root 35 by 2 and finally in the simplest form 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x becomes equal to 6 plus minus root 35 so we get two values of 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x from here we consider the value with the positive sign which is equal to 6 plus root 35 and to rationalize this value we multiply both numerator and denominator on the right hand side by 6 minus root 35 and this multiplication results in 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x becoming equal to 1 by 6 minus root 35 and 6 minus root 35 can be expressed as 6 minus root 35 whole raised to the power minus 1 and here we find that both the bases are equal so indices also must be equal which makes x is equal to minus 1. And considering the second value with the minus sign, 6 minus root 35 raised to the power x is equal to 6 minus root 35. And here the life is little bit simpler. It can be simply expressed as equal to 6 minus root 35 raised to the power n. And bases being equal, the indices are also equal. So x becomes equal to 1. When these values are verified with the original equation, it can be seen that both x is equal to minus 1 as well as x is equal to 1 satisfy the given equation and hence both these values are the solutions of the given equation. Thanks for watching.